The Pro Tools Matrix features an integrated studio monitor section which can be controlled from a UCOM based control surface like the Pro Tools S6. In the previous videos, we started by creating a basic monitor profile in Dadman and added to it source inputs, talkback, and multiple cue mixes. Now let's explore how to access and operate the custom monitor profile we created with Dadman on the surface. The S6 is a modular control surface that uses UCON to connect multiple surface modules and audio workstations on a large gigabit network. It provides tremendous tactile control and visual feedback, improving workflow efficiency with dedicated ergonomic modules. Let's first take a look at the process of locking the monitor profile from Dadman to the S6 surface. WS Control is the Yukon application that runs on your host computer, which connects the workstation to the control surface network so the S6 can access it. You can see that Yukon has found my workstation running Pro Tools 12, and it's caching the tracks from the session onto the surface. From the workstation screen on S6, I can see that MBX, my MacBook Pro, is connected and that Pro Tools 12 is the focused application. We need to launch the Dadman application, where we define the monitor profile, to bind the control room to S6. I've set up Dadman to automatically load my last saved profile, as we discussed in the previous videos. The control panel displayed is the dedicated control room section from the master touch module of S6. With version 3.6 or higher of the console software, you can see that if WS Control is running and you launch Dadman, it will automatically bind the monitor section to the control surface. The top setup button is lit up to show that we are locked to the S6. With older versions of S6, you simply need to press the top setup button after Dadman has been launched. This is also the switch we would use to unlock the monitor application from the surface. It's not a bad idea to enable the option to start S6 WS Control at login. This ensures that the Yukon control network is running, and then you simply need to launch Dadman to auto bind your monitoring section to the console. An S6 console includes numerous different types of control, from a multi-touch screen to faders, encoders, and switches, giving users various ways to access control room monitoring functions on the surface. We'll take a look at the two most common ways using the master touch module and the master automation module. The master touch module, which is the processing engine of the S6, features an adjustable touchscreen interface with adjacent color-coded encoders. If we press the monitoring soft switch, we can access the dedicated control room page. Now you can see we have all of our control room source inputs displayed at the top of the window with the Mac Dante base source currently enabled. With switching mode enabled, I can toggle one by one between individual sources. In summing mode, I can touch to enable multiple source inputs or even touch all to sum all of the inputs within my profile. The primary control room attenuation is accessed from the lower right encoder, whose values are represented both on the touchscreen as well as on the dedicated hardware control room section. Above the main mix is the adjustment for the dim level, and finally, the talkback level is the topmost encoder of this column. Let's take a quick look at assigning or reordering the control room sources on the monitoring page. If you touch the very top rectangle of a source input button, it lights up with an orange border and displays a list of available sources within the center window of the monitor page. Simply touch one of the available sources to assign it to that position in the sources lane. I'll continue the process by changing the second source from Mac to QC. If you want to visually separate sources, you can choose None, which will leave a blank space. Finally, we'll add back in PTHDX, which is currently enabled, as well as the Mac source at the end. And let's leave QD where it is. Making up the leftmost column, you can see Q monitors A through D, which are feeding into the Focusrite and Clang headphone interfaces. If we touch the first one, AM2A, you can see the available list of inputs lights up, which is where we decide what source to feed into the Dante based headphone amp. For each individual Q monitor, we can determine whether the input sources are switched or summed. This first monitor is set up for switching, and as you can see, I can quickly toggle through any of the available inputs. Those discrete Q mixes we created with sends in Pro Tools labeled PTQA, QB, and QC. If we jump down to monitor C, Clang A, it's set to sum. So for example, we can simultaneously send the talent a discrete mix from Pro Tools and augment it with other Dante-based audio applications on the Mac. At the bottom of the monitor window, we have individual speakers specific to the output set we created in Dadman. Since I created a 5.1 set, you can see I have six speakers. I can enable or disable speakers simply by touching them just like the source inputs. Finally, the fold down presets that we applied to our output show up here. I can enable or disable any of the matrices we applied with the touch of a button. If we access the local options by pressing the gear in the lower right hand corner of the window, 
This is where we can establish whether the sources and speakers are set to summing or switching, otherwise referred to as intercancel mode. There are also options for talkback, GPIO, and path labeling. The master automation module, in addition to transport and attention channel functions, features an array of user programmable soft keys. We can access the monitoring functions by pressing the control room soft key from the top right corner of the extras page or by holding down a shift button on the fader module and pressing period on the numeric keypad, which is a quick jump to get to monitoring controls regardless of what soft key page you may be on. All of the monitor controls that we explored on the master touch module are also represented here for convenience, from source inputs to speakers, fold downs, and talk back. If we press the speaker switch, we have control over each of the individual speakers. If we wanted to solo just the center channel, for example, we could do it from this page. Let's return back to the main control room page and then back out to the main soft keys. The Pro Tools matrix includes an incredibly powerful studio monitor section that, once configured in Dadman, can be controlled directly from the S6 control surface. Whether assigning source inputs to cue mixes, soloing individual speakers, or engaging fold down presets, the S6 offers comprehensive control over your matrix monitor profile from multiple modules on the surface. In the upcoming video, we'll take a look at using our iPad-based control surface, Pro Tools Control, in combination with the Pro Tools Dock to access our customized monitor profile.